Good morning, boys and girls. How is everybody out there in Conway Christian land? I hope you've had a good week. Um, we've said it a bunch of times, but I just want to say it again, how much we all miss you. Uh, we hate that uh, we didn't get to finish the year together at school, but we know that God knows what he's doing. And at the right time, we'll all get to get back together and see each other again. But I sure miss seeing you here in the halls at school every day. Uh, one more chapel this year, and I wanted to share with you on our last chapel, something that we talked about back on our very first chapel. Uh, if you remember, Mr. Carson gave us a theme verse this year, and it was a great one from the book of 1 John chapter 4, and it just said that we love others because God has loved us. And basically, that we, we were going to choose love all the time and asking us why we should choose love. And this verse tells us we should choose love because God has loved us first. And that's the first thing we talked about, and now I want it to be the last thing we talk about because um, when you come back in the fall, when we get to see you again, we're going to have a brand new theme and something that we'll be excited about that we'll really try to focus on then. But uh, this was our one for this year, and I want us to think about it as we finish our school year. God has loved us. So let's think about these two words, experience and expression. And experience is something that you do or something that you go through or something that happens to you. And so the first thing we can say is that we all know what it is to experience because God has loved us. We know what love is because we've experienced God's love. This verse tells us that he loved us first. Before we even loved him or loved anyone else, God already loved us. He has loved us forever and forever and forever. That is a really cool idea for me to think about how much God loves me. That no matter what kind of behavior I have or what kind of grades or what kind of talents I have, those don't change God's love for me. He loves me just because he is good and because he is gracious and shows me his love. And so he's given me that first. So that's the experience, which leads to the expression. How can I now love others? Well, I can do that because I know what love is because God has already loved me. And so I have the ability to love other people just like I know that God has shown me love because he has loved me. And so that's how I can express that to other people. Because God has loved me, I can in turn love others. That also tells me that I've got a big job to do because God's love is perfect. Remember how I said it doesn't change because of our grades or our behavior or any of those things? Well, that's how we're supposed to love others too. Meaning we're supposed to love others even if they're not being kind to us. We're supposed to love others even if they don't maybe like the same things that we do or believe the same things that we believe. The Bible tells us just to love others the way God loves them. Uh, and, and don't worry about all those other things that are in there. So it's a big job for us, and so we definitely need God's help to do that. But he's promised to always give us his help. He gives us teachers and parents, and he gives us the Bible so we know how to do those things, and he gives us lots of ways that we can express our love to other people. So as you guys are away from us this summer, I want you to think about ways that you can express God's love to your friends, to your family that you're spending so much time with right now because we're all being at home or just to anybody that you know, how can you express the love of God to others? I wanna share with you a really quick video this uh, morning that just kind of describes what this love looks like. And I want you to pay attention to these ideas and these things, and then we'll pray together when we get done. So y'all check this out.
right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. That's just a, some ideas of some ways that we can express our love. And again, I really want you to think about doing that as you have chances this summer. I love you. God loves you. And I'm so thankful that we got to have at least part of our school year together here on campus. And I know your teachers and parents have been working hard to finish the year for you and get all the work that you need to do. Remember that Jesus loves us so much that he came and laid down his life. He gave his life for our sins on the cross. And that's how we can have a relationship with God. If you have any questions about you getting that relationship or how you can continue to grow in that relationship, please ask me, ask your teachers, ask your parents, your pastors at church. They would love to talk more about that with you, I'm sure, anytime. I love you guys. I hope you have a great summer. And I look forward to seeing your faces again here on Conway Christian's campus very soon. Uh, until I get to see you again. Love God, love each other, and go serve your king. Guys, have a great summer.